everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do my July wrap up. This is just a video talking about all the books that I read in July. As you know, or may not know, I just started my channel and I just started rereading for the first time in a very long time in July. So my July wrap up is not going to be super long. I didn't read 10 books or 15 books or 20 plus books like some people, but I did read six, which I'm pretty impressed by. Technically, it's kind of five and a little bit, but yeah, I'll get into it. So we're going to start in the order that I read them all. So the first one that I read is The Maid by Nita Prose. My mum left this, she came to visit us, and she left this for me to read. And I wish she hadn't, because this was not a very good read. I gave this a two star, unfortunately. Um, it's about this maid who, she's Molly the maid, and she works in this fancy hotel, and there is a guest that passes away, and she's the one who finds the body, and, you know, and then it's like a murder mystery, what happened, who done it, type of thing. That's what I thought it was going to be, which technically it is, but it's not very interesting, it's not very thrilling, there's a lot of sketchy characters, and the thing with, oh hello, the thing with Molly is she is um, neurodivergent, so she's not very good with social cues or social interactions, she, she doesn't pick up on the fact that some people are bad people, and um, you know, she's quite nice, I actually kind of liked her as a character, but in terms of the story and the plot, I thought it was um, very boring, I did not think it was uh, interesting, and I also so did not think it was thrilling, so I gave it a two star. All right, so the next book I read is The Rachel Incident. I'll put a picture up on here because I did listen to it on Audible, and it's by Carolyn McDonoghue. I ended up giving this a two star, unfortunately. So straight off the bat, I did not read uh, some good books straight away, or even books that I really enjoyed. Sorry, my son is playing in the background. I'll try to reduce that noise as much as possible in editing, but... It's basically about a girl who goes to university and she becomes friends with this gay boy and they start living together and she has a crush on her English teacher and um, they devise a plan to basically seduce him at a book launch. It's his book and they work at the library so um, or bookshop and they they plan out a book launch for him. He's written a very boring book, but they still do it. And he's like, why is there so much interest, blah, blah, blah. And um, at the end of the day, he turns out that he's married, for one thing, to a woman, but it turns out that he is also gay. And he ends up having an affair with her best friend instead of her. So yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> And then that's like kind of at the start of the book. And honestly, the rest of the book is quite boring. There's about, it's really about them hiding the affair and she's kind of the third wheel on some of it. And then she has a boyfriend and she doesn't treat her boyfriend that great in my opinion. Um, she ends up getting pregnant and then she gets an abortion and she ends up being the scapegoat for the teacher because eventually his wife finds out and um, and he and she thinks that she's the one that he's having an affair, affair with, not her gay best friend, because he doesn't want to come out as gay. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole story. A uh, lot of spoilers there, so uh, apologies for that. But yeah, I I did not enjoy this book. I thought the main character, which who is Rachel, I thought she was very unredeemable in terms of her actions. I could not like her. She was very unlikable. Um, I didn't, I, I, I didn't agree with a lot of things that she did, a lot of things that she did that were really selfish. And I get it. It's like a coming of age where you're really young and you're kind of figuring yourself out and you do do silly things and mistakes and stuff. And I don't, I just didn't like it. I just, and I also did not get the point of the book. I didn't get the point like, why was the book written? All right, next three books I actually read in a book vlog on my channel, so if you wanna go check that out, you can. I won't go into too much detail about these, but I read The White Oleander by Janet Fitch. I really enjoyed this, this was a reread for me. All three of the next ones will be reread. Um, but yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it, but I ended up giving it a four star as opposed to a five star, just simply because of the subject matter. I, it's just, I can't call it one of my favorite books. I do like the movie, but in terms of the books, I don't know, I just, I didn't, I, didn't, I just couldn't, I couldn't give it a five. But I did talk more about that in my vlog if you wanna go check that out. 
And then we've got Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. This was a pleasure to reread. I gave it a five star. I really, really enjoyed it. I read it so many years ago and I wanted to see if I still liked it and I do. Um, definitely one of the best books and yeah, five star. So at least I read a five star, even though it was a reread, at least I had a five star for the month and a book that I really, really thoroughly enjoyed. Also in that blog, I read reread the Stephen King book The Dark Half. This one I was I was disappointed in. I actually gave it a three star. I remember liking it a lot more when I was younger. The, the issue I had with it was there was a lot more dialogue in the book that I A remember and B care for. There uh, there was a lot of re re repeating monologues or dialogues or conversations with the same three people and I did find it a little dull actually at some point I had to skip over a lot of their conversations because they kept repeating things and I also didn't like some of the main characters in it and yeah hi hello <laughs> okay so the last book I read is The Dog of the North by Elizabeth Mackenzie so this one, unfortunately, I gave it a one star. <laughs> and I also DNF'd it. So that's why I say I technically read five books, but I'm counting six. I don't know if you really count DNFs, but I tried to read it. It was just not enjoyable. I found it really incoherent. And I do, I do feel bad saying all these negative things about certain books because I know, you know, when an author releases a book, they think it's like a really good book or they're, you know, they, they really put a lot into it. So I, I, I don't try to be negative just to be negative. But I just, I couldn't get into this book and I didn't really understand what the plot was. She goes and sees her grandmother who's a bit kooky and then this guy ends up in hospital and then there's like some issue with the family. I didn't get that far into the book because I just did not really, <laughs> I didn't find enjoyment <laughs> from it. You're so cute. I can't go as a J right now. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of reviews on it and they all really enjoyed the book. <clears throat> but I did not enjoy it, unfortunately. Yes. Okay, so that is my July wrap up, a quick little uh, video for you. I'm hoping that I read a lot more in August. I've already finished three books so far, I'm gonna write at the beginning. So yeah, super pumped for August. Don't touch that, don't touch that. <laughs> <laughs> um, super pumped for August thank you so much for watching if you did and like and subscribe if you'd like to I really appreciate it thank you bye